Hello YouTube, this is Menon again. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to make semia upma. Semia or vermicelli in Italian or English is a, a something that is similar to a spaghetti, uh, which I feel that what you get in Kerala is a bit more uh, thinner form of spaghetti. Now, what are the ingredients that I'm going to use to make this uh, upma? So I have vermicelli here or semia, which is roasted, broken into small pieces. So make sure that you buy the roasted vermicelli or the semia. So one cup of roasted vermicelli or the semia, then um, two cups of uh, water to make the upma. Then here I have uh, one medium sized onion chopped and one spring of curry leaves and one tablespoon of uh, split urid dal, a teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste, two dried red chilies, about a teaspoon of mustard seeds, three green chilies chopped, about 15 cashews, oil to fry these ingredients and salt to take. It will be good if you add some sultanas as well. Uh, I don't have sultanas here so I'm not adding. Now preparation uh, to a hot pan add about three to four tablespoons of uh, oil. I'm adding the oil now. Once the oil is hot add the mustard seeds, curry leaves, the dried red chilies, urid dal and ginger garlic paste and fry well until the mustard seeds starts to splutter. Okay, that looks like it has fried well. To this I'm going to add the chopped onions and the green chilies. And there goes the green chilies. Fry for a few minutes until the onions starts to change its color. While the onions are being done, I would like to roast the cashews in oil or preferably in ghee. I'm using oil here. So it gives you an extra flavor. So it's if you have salt in us, I would say you should roast them as well. So it takes just two minutes for the cashews to get roasted. So you just pop in the sultanas towards the end of roasting the cashews because the sultanas gets roasted pretty fast. So until it starts changing its color to about light brownish. So we'll be adding the cashews towards the end of uh, making the upma otherwise it gets really soggy. So the cashews are done. Okay so the onions are done. To this I'm adding two cups of water. Just remember for one cup of uh, vermicelli we add two cups of water. Use, taking two cups of vermicelli, then I would say just more than three cups of water. The amount of vermicelli, the more and more that you add, you take lesser water. Otherwise, it's double the amount. Now you let the water boil. So increase the flame and add a bit of salt to your taste. I'm adding the salt now. Okay, so that's uh, boiling now. To this I'm going to add the vermicelli, one cup and cook until all the water has dried up. I would cook in a low flame so that the vermicelli is nice and cooked. You can see as it gets cooked the, the semi or the vermicelli has become a bit more thicker. There's still quite a bit of water there. so. Um, I want it to be dry. Probably I would say another three or four minutes it should be done. Okay now most of the water has dried up but still it looks a bit soggy. I want it really dry. But at this point I'll be adding the cashews to it. There you go. The cashews and if you have sultanas then probably you should add that as well. That's nice and dry and uh, ready to be served. So there you go, your semia upma or vermicelli upma or spaghetti upma. 
Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time with more videos. Bye.